Fans of The Andy Griffith Show are all familiar with Andy's boy Opie. During that show's eight season run, we really grew to love that little feller. And perhaps more than any other aspect of that classic TV show, the father-son relationship was critical to its success. But did you know that Opie had a half-brother? This video is all about Andy Samuel Taylor Jr., who made his first appearance during the second season of Mayberry RFD in an episode titled Andy's Baby. Andy and Helen returned to Mayberry for the christening of little Andy Jr. It is worth noting that although Mayberry RFD would run for another season on CBS before being canceled, even though it was still a top 10 show in the Nielsen ratings, this particular episode marks the last appearance of Andy and Helen until they returned 17 years later in the made-for-TV movie Return to Mayberry. And when we finally do get a chance to catch up with the Taylor family in that wonderful reunion movie, Andy Jr. is nowhere to be found. Not only is he not seen in the movie, but no one even mentions his absence. Now, if I do some basic math, it does seem possible that if Andy Jr. were an exceptionally bright and driven young lad, that maybe, just maybe, he zipped through high school and was already in college. But if that were the case, you'd think that the proud Taylors would have said something about that to Opie and his family. Now, if you ask me, what I'd like to think is that somewhere along the way, Andy Jr. encountered a feller from Milwaukee by the name of Chuck Cunningham, and these two forgotten sons somehow became the best of buds, maybe living on some sort of tropical island with a super nice beach, and they spend their days doing their very best to forget that they are both forgotten sons of classic TV family. I think it is absolutely shameful how both of these families seem to have forgotten one of their children. How could they do that? It boggles the mind. And what the heck is Potsy doing in this photo? He's not one of the Cunninghams. Get out of there, Potsy. Go home. Okay, enough of that. All kidding aside, I know the reality is that when the TV reunion movie was made, the creative forces probably just made a decision not to muddy the waters with a character that had only been seen on television one time, and only during the Andy Griffith Show spin-off, Mayberry RFD. It is also entirely possible that by the time the reunion movie rolled along that even mentioning a character named Andy Jr. might have been a painful thing for Andy Griffith. Why? Well, that's because Andy Griffith actually had a son named Andy Samuel Griffith Jr., and by the mid-80s, the real Andy Jr., who everyone actually called Sam, was having some struggles of his own. From everything that I can tell, drugs and alcohol were the demons of choice for Sam, who would pass away at the all-too-young age of 37 in 1996. As is usually the case, reality is far less fun than the fantasy-filled world of television, so let's just stick with an image of Andy Jr. and Chuck partying it up somewhere sunny, sharing their sad tales of woe as forgotten TV siblings to any pretty young lady who is willing to listen. Yeah, that's the ticket. And what the heck, maybe Tommy Flanagan is there with them as well. And his wife? You know, supermodel and TV actress Morgan Fairchild? That Tommy was one lucky feller. Well, she's there as well. You know, I've published a video about her. There it is. Go ahead and click on it. I'm pretty much done here. As always, thank you so much for watching.